was a great year for me. I got to the third round of Wimbledon. I did really well. I beat Amanda Kurtz in the second round. Oh. I mean, I remember I used to watch her play when I was like 11, 12 on the TV. I remember watching her against Steffi Graf. And I remember kind of saying, oh, I wish one day I could play someone like that. And, you know, kind of looking out the other side of the net and she's standing there and I've got match points against her, you know. you. I mean, it's a feeling that you feel as if all of a sudden your legs just are going to collapse. Match point. I couldn't breathe. The heart is racing. You think, oh my God, everyone can hear my heart. It's going to jump out my chest. That <laughs> I served an ace to finish. The relief of not even hitting another ball after the serve, I mean, it was just amazing. Elena Baltaccia of Great Britain is in the third round of Wimbledon. This dragon of the business world founded a chain of unique sushi bars. We cornered him in his London HQ to tax him on how he made his millions. Golden nuggets of advice for budding entrepreneurs, according to me. I'm a businessman, I suppose you could say, but I started just having ideas. That's all I ever did was I had ideas and then I thought, how can I do them? So what I did is I started researching lots of things. I put a little bit of money, a bit of my time. I'd work really hard to, you know, just research different things. If you have an idea, don't think about whether you're going to do it, but instead, ban your brain. Say, I am banned from thinking about when I'm going to do it or not. And instead, just do the research. That's my tip for the day. If you as a cyclist require any more evidence as to why you should ride safer, this is it. This cyclist was killed riding her pedal cycle. You can see the state of the pedal cycle, you can imagine what it did to her. On the other hand, I'll show you this pedal cycle. As you can see, it appears completely intact, however the rider of this cycle was also killed at the scene of the collision. If I can offer you one piece of advice, it would be ride defensively, plan ahead, think ahead, and stay safe. Don't become a casualty. I'm here at Earl's Court at the Urban Music Festival to explore all the different music genres, to interview artists, and find out, most importantly, what makes urban music urban. So, come with me. What would you call your music? What type uh, of style would you it's call like, it? It's really world music with hip hop influence, mm. if I had to describe it, you know? Okay. Yeah. And what, um, if I ask you what is urban, how would you describe that? Urban? Mm -hmm. It's pretty much black music. Black music? Okay, so you yeah. think it's about race then? Yeah, definitely. Nah, it used to be. Not anymore. It's not multicultural. Anymore. It's multicultural. Okay, but since you're from Brighton, you're not exactly from inner city, are you? No. So why is that? I'm, I'm from Bethnal Green in London. Bethnal Green, but, okay. Uh, Brighton kind of acts like it's multicultural. It's it is a, a little bit. It's a melting pot. But you know, it's a, lot of thing, a lot of different things are accepted, so... That's a good question. Because mm. the first thing that came to mind was there's a lot of black people involved, mm. but that's not the truth. Okay. You know, there's all different kinds of race. So you don't think it's about race then? It's not about race anymore. Okay. But what makes urban music urban is just the culture. Hello and welcome to The Round Table our lively monthly debate show based around real issues affecting our community. This month we're going to be talking about gun crime and youth culture. There's been <coughs> over 9,974 incidents involving gun crime. I mean, how do you... In this country? In this country. Since when? Since 2000. You guys have a problem in your country. Um, I, you just educated me, you know, from the States. Since 2002 and you have that many incidents, there's a major problem. These people who walk around with guns, they are angry and they are hungry because they only believe that power is in the, weapon, in the gun that they can use. I share this with you because it's only just over a year ago. On the 1st of April, I met up with my 21-year-old son and I always embraced him and I said, I love you, son. 
The following day, he had six bullets in his body. Six bullets. The gun was emptied on him because of a man who was just angry. And he had a gun and he wanted to use it.